Well, good Thursday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face the day. I'm going to read to you from the book of Psalms. There is so much just in the book of Psalms. Um, and David, you see where he pours his heart out to God in his writings. And he makes very uh, good observations for us just as... Uh, uh, when you read uh, the book of Ecclesiastes, um, you read Solomon's writings, and some would say they don't know for sure if that's him, but when you read those writings, you see uh, the wisdom that God had given him, but God had also blessed uh, David with his own wisdom. In Psalm 53, he says, The fool said in his heart, There is no God. Corrupt are they, and they have done abominable iniquity. There is none that doeth good. God looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand, that did seek God. Every one of them has gone back. They are altogether become filthy. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. <laughs> when he's looking and seeing... Um, and making this observation. No doubt, because we read the Psalms that are written, and they may not have been written consecutively, um, I, I would say they weren't, but when we read those and we see what uh, David is a man who observes, who seems to be what I would say is a people watcher. He seems to observe men and their ways. and. And although uh, he is he is a shepherd boy who becomes a king, he's a man, and he's human, and he also sees the faults of men. But as he speaks here, uh, the fool says in his heart, there is no God. Uh, the fear of the Lord, the scripture says, is the beginning of wisdom. When a person, I watched something the other day with someone who was uh, very famous, very wealthy, uh, but it was so sad because he was so distraught, uh, saying, if there is a God, why doesn't he? And how many times have you heard that, or I've heard that, if there is a God, why doesn't he correct this or stop this or do this? And it's always our bidding what we want him to do. Why didn't we do what he wanted us to do? Well, sometimes we don't want to stop and look at our own downfalls. And we're all human, all of us. We've all, uh, all of us have our faults, our failures. I... I I was listening to gospel radio, of course, the other day and listened to uh, Dr. Ben Carson he was talking to James Dobson and he said he had uh, a new uh, word that he liked to use. And he said, um, when he said it, he, he said it was Wayne. And I thought to myself, Wayne, well, that's a name. He said, no, Wayne. He said, if we would look at it as we are not enemies. And he said, that's probably one of the biggest things that's wrong with our society today is when people don't agree on something, they think they have to be enemies. We won't always agree, but surely to goodness, we're not all enemies. Um, but that was what he suspected. So he being a, a people watcher, David being a people watcher, he saw the things that uh, um, the people that said that there is no God. And what do you do with that? Do you, do you just write them off? I'll leave that business to God. But I know that there have been people that haven't believed in him before. I've been to visit some of those folks in their homes. I've talked with some of them. And what what does God expect of me? Just to go back if they allow me in and to share the word of God and to share the love of God with them again. 
Uh, we never know when our last day is. Uh, I, I say this often, but I thought it's... Uh, my son did a devotion for work the other day, and, and he was talking about that as well. The Lord's coming. He is. He's coming back for someone. He came back for a lot of someones today. And he may come back for us today or tomorrow. This is a Dottie Rambo song. I, I've listened to her music um, for probably about an hour yesterday while I was driving. And she got a lot of beautiful songs. But uh, I heard this song and sang it some with Dennis Osborne years ago. He used to sing it with his brother Jess, I believe, and their family. But So uh, I will uh, sing this and hopefully Dennis and Joy will uh, get to see it sometime you may never see this day again the breeze may never cause the twig to bend today is tomorrow's yesterday The clouds will never form again this way. The sun's going down, the day is almost past. So live today as though today would be your last. Today Yesterday, you can't take back one unkind word you say. If you're making plans to change your life of sin, then start today because today could be. This may be the last sunrise you'll see. Tomorrow we may face eternity. Life is but a vapor, soon it's gone. I may God calls home. You can change the future, but never change the past. So live today as though today would be your last. Today. Yesterday, you can't take back one unkind word you say. If you're making plans to change your life of sin, then start today because today could be the end if you're making plans to change your life of sin then start today because today could be the end today Yesterday. Lord, I thank you for the day you've given us. God, help us to use it wisely. We love you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. See you back here on Friday.